Hey guys, John here. Today we're going to be making a fun analog bass, which is also a nice ARP that you can use in maybe some type of synthwave stuff or maybe something that just calls for an ARP bass that kind of draws its inspiration from a Moog or something kind of like that, which sounds something like this with the kick drum. And let's make it a little bit fuzzy. Now the cool part about this bass is we still have that kind of knocking sound without the fuzz. But once we add the fuzz, we get that nasty kind of overtone saw wave stuff, but we still have the knocking as well. Okay, so this one's relatively simple, nothing too crazy. So let's go to uh, a default one, go to new preset, and let's start getting into it here. So with our main one, we're using the analog engine twice, and then we're using a little bit of the utility engine, two filters, a little bit of an effects. I guess it's maybe, I don't know if it's complicated. I don't know, but anyway, let's get into it. <laughs> okay, so the first one, analog engine one. Let's go ahead and change that here. So we have this first engine, and what we're doing is we're using a pulse wave down. Actually, we're bringing the whole thing down, so let's do that first. So bring this down by one octave here, as we can see this is down an octave. Now, the first one here is also going to be down another octave, and it's going to be a square wave, and the pulse width exactly is going to be 688, so let's bring that 688, something like that. So now we have an octave. Okay, the next one is going to be a triangle wave down an octave as well. Let's bring this down like that here, and then in the mix, it's going to be all the way. Okay, and then the fine tuning is gonna be a little bit at 0.112. So we got that guy. And then the last one also 100% in the mix is gonna be a saw wave. And this one also down an octave. So that's gonna be kind of the beefy sound we're starting with. <laughs> it's already pretty nasty. Okay, so next up, we're gonna be going to a mini because like I said, I kind of wanted to draw inspiration from the Moog. So let's go and select the mini filter here. And the cutoff is gonna be at 41.1 by default. So way down here, so 41.1-ish or so, that's fine. Now we play something, we hear maybe a little bit of low end. Our resonance is at 0 0.076, so a tiny bit. Cause you gotta be careful with this filter here. The more resonance you add, the more low end you're gonna lose, but you do get some character. So it's kind of a really, fine tuning kind of thing. Okay. So this guy is modulated by an envelope and also controlled by a macro. So let's do the envelope first. So envelope two, 0.74 depth. Envelope two, drag and drop here, 0.72, I think I said here, 0.72, right? Did I say 72? 74, 74, okay. 74. So we have that typical kind of bass sound that we all know and love. Okay, so let's take a look at our envelopes. The first one we should look at is our amplitude. So default one here, our decay is gonna be a little bit higher at 791. So let's bring this up here, decay 791-ish or so. And then our sustain is gonna be all the way down. This should be all the way down. Sometimes it sticks like that, but anyway, all the way down for our sustain, see what I mean, it sticks. Okay, and then our release is going to be at 197. Something like that here. It's a good place to start with, I suppose. Okay, so our second envelope here that we're using to modulate our cutoff here, let's take a look at this guy. So one for the attack default decay 521, which is a little bit more, which uh, do we must have changed it. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, and then we have zero sustain, which is already done. And then our release is gonna be 500, which is default. And then our curve is going to be negative 4.7. So let's bring this down here a little bit like that. Negative 4 point, that's fine. And sometimes if you're kind of wanting to make the envelope a little bit snappier, you don't necessarily always have to bring down the decay. Sometimes bringing down the decay, the decay curve can give you a little bit of a better sound or result. So keep that in mind. 
Okay, so that's pretty much done here. Now, what's going on with these filters? So we have a little bit of drive at 0.108, so. A little bit goes a long way, I find. Okay, so next we're going into this multi-mode and this is gonna be a low pass 24. So let's go ahead and turn this guy on. So multi-pad low pass 24 and our resonance is gonna be at 0.132. Just bring that there. And then if we look at our cutoff manually, it's gonna be at 9K. So we can bring that down a little bit like that. And here, if you look at this, we're also using envelope two at 0.25. So envelope two, drag and drop this here at 0.25, which is default. So why are we doing this? <laughs> well, you might ask. I believe it is in the, if you look here, this guy is going to filter one, which we do want to have some, have some noise. We're gonna to get to that in just a second. So let's do our noise first. So utility engine, turn this guy on, and then we have this white noise. So turn this guy on, which it's pretty nice one here. So this guy is going to filter one and we see this volume here is all the way down. So let's turn this down. And then we can see that this is controlled by macro two, which we can see here, this is called noise. So macro two, drag and drop this on the noise and our depth exactly is gonna be 0.62. And if we turn this up all the way here, we get that there. So if we did it we're pretty crazy, that's what we're adding there. So 0.62 gives you a little bit of that noise. So double click here and type in noise. And how much of that you want in there is up to you. Okay, so this one is gonna be toned. We haven't done that one yet. So this is macro at 0 0.10. So we can literally drag and drop this here and then go down to 0 0.10. So small moves here. And that's why generally when there are smaller moves like that, more of a tonality thing rather than a filter sweep, I kind of like putting tone as opposed to cut off. Just a small kind of subtle move there. Okay. So we have that pretty much done here. That's kind of around that area, I suppose. Okay, so now this is kind of where the interesting spot happens. So analog engine two. Let's go to this guy, turn this on, changes to analog. So we have our main kind of base. And we could even stop there. That's actually a pretty cool sound. But we can go even further. So Analog Engine 2, so we have two saw waves here. We can bring both of these up and this is down an octave. So let's bring this down an octave. And we have both of these saw waves basically here. Now, the thing is, is that we're gonna be sending this to 50% filter one and 50% filter two, which gives us that kind of result. Now we have full unison as well to kind of beef it up a little bit. kind of just to reinforce that base a little bit. And if you look here, this engine is actually controlled by macro three, which is this one called fuzz. And this amount is gonna be 0.83. So we bring this down all the way, macro three, drag and drop. And this depth is gonna be 0.83, like we were saying right there. And then label this one fuzz. So whenever we want to bring this entire engine in, we just turn this one knob. And how much of it depends on uh, <laughs> how, well, how are you feeling that day? Okay, so we have that there, that's pretty cool. And that's for the most part, all we have to do within this uh, this engine here. So two saw waves down an octave totally, or down two octaves. Did we do one? We did do one, let's do two. Make it even beefier. Okay, it's starting to feel better. So now we haven't even really touched effects. If we go to our effects tab here, we don't really have too much going on because it's not that really complicated. So the first one, if we go to our effects, we have an EQ. So let's go effects one and let's change this to our EQ. Now this guy, we are boost, boosting a little bit of that low end here, specifically about 52. So we go down here, 52 to get that kind of that meat there. There we go. And then bring this up here. And then some of this low end here, what, 170, we can kind of bring out for the next band. So 170-ish, like that stuff we're taking out. But only a little bit. You don't want to do too much because then you can just ruin the entire patch. And then for this third band here, or this technically second band, you know what I mean? This one is going to be at one, uh, almost 2K pretty much. So here we're going to a little bit down here, almost 2K. To bring this up a little bit, and then for our high shelf, we can just bring that up a tad bit. So 
It's already sounding kind of beefy. And then we have a compressor, which is going to be an 8 to 1 ratio. Generally, that's what I stick with if we're doing any kind of low-end bass sound. So compressor, let's bring our ratio about to 8 to 1-ish or so. A little bit of uh, gain reduction there. Okay. Then we have a little bit of delay, which is uh, kind of more so to just open things up just a little bit here because we're cutting off quite a lot, 238. So let's make sure to, whoops, bring that up here. 238 or so, and then bring down our low pass. We don't really need that much here. So this is gonna be one over 16 and this is gonna be on straight time. So one over 16. And our dry wet's gonna be controlled on a macro at 0.14, which is our delay down here because, you know, we could put effects, but we're just really using a delay. So might as well just put delay. And 0.14, we can bring that down, drag and drop. And this is gonna be 0.14, here we go. This kind of just brings it up or makes it a little bit more open, I suppose. Okay, so that's pretty much all we have to do as far as the sound generation and effects. The sequencer is really cool because here, if we just turn this guy onto our sequencer, now we can just play it kind of like that. Or we can just remove the fuzz entirely. And we kind of have the analog Moog type of bass. And another thing I like doing as well, so this is kind of really dependent on what you want to do, but we can bring our sequence here all the way to two, something like that. Grab our second bar and bring our octave up one. So we have something kind of like that. Yeah, but really up to you how you want to play this patch here. So yeah, this one's kind of interesting. It's fun to play around and kind of try to emulate with the, with the things that you have, right? With the three oscillators, your mini Moog filter, and a little bit of resonance, and then just kind of going around from there. So this patch is free. If you want to download it, it is in the video description below, and it can be yours. So thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something and make some cool bases out there. See you in the next one.